and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. And today I have a try on collective haul from the last probably two months ish of clothing purchases. Uh, it's from a bit of everywhere. I will give you my opinions on the clothes I purchased. Um, there are a couple of things I, no, there's one thing that I returned, um, but it's just slippers, so no big deal. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, if you are enjoying this video and you would like to see more like it, like the video so I know you actually enjoyed watching it, um, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah. Let's get into the video. So if I, I have organized these items that I'm looking at on the chair beside me um, in order of like store, I guess. So I'm just going to start with the top of the pile. We'll go through it. I will film cutaways that will go over top of what I'm saying so you guys can see. So in the uh, Torrid year end sale, I think I got it on I ordered it like New Year's Eve New Year's Day kind of deal um I think so anyway seems like so long ago now um I picked up some jeans I don't actually have any jeans in this light of wash um they kind of look like they're dirty in my light um they come up much bluer on the screen these are um what are these oh these are the vintage stretch um, high rise wide leg and I got them in a 30 extra tall um, because it seems every time I buy regular length pants jeans whatever they shrink to be too short within a few washes my family is not the family that puts things hangs them up for safekeeping it's just not how we do things we're lazy clothes clothes washers so anyway their regular price um is $79.50 US and $87.50 Canadian. So um, they have like a bit of like wear on the pockets. Um, there's no holes, but they are wide width. Um, they are very wide. I love them. And then they have this detail at the bottom with like a wide or like a wider hem. Um, I love them. Um, I think actually I probably could have gone down a size um, as they're a little loose in the waist. Um, but yeah, they fit my legs with my legs being misshapen due to lymphedema. Um, it does cause problems with pants. And you'll see that where I've run that into that in other jeans that I've purchased. So um, it does cause problems, but with these being wide leg, I definitely could have gotten away with a 28 instead of a 30. And they have plain back pockets, but the pockets are up pretty high, so they make your bum look high. Oh, also, if any of the things in here are wrinkled, it's because I've been wearing them and um, I don't fold my clothes. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I also picked up this blue tie-dye shirt from Torrid. Um, I got a... What size is this? It usually says... Six. I got a six. Um, so it is the relaxed fit. Um, it has a little bit of like a slub texture to it. Put me on and... <laughs> it says inside the neck, it says wear instructions. Put me on and never take me off. So it's 100% cotton. Um, I've worn this once already, dropped something on it, uh, and need to wash it. But I've actually been looking for a tie-dye shirt that is not multiple different colors for a while. And they sell out so fast that I just can't get my hands on it. So uh, when I spotted this and it was like the right color that I wanted um, and a cut that I liked, then I picked it up because I was not missing out. I also picked up a couple pairs of underwear, from, no, one pair of underwear from Tori, but I'm not showing them to you. Um, I've already worn them, and I feel like once I've worn them, I just cannot show them to you, so I'm not gonna. Um, I did pick up a uh, Girlfriend Collective sports bra. 
Uh, this is the Paloma fit. There is another one that has like adjustable straps to the back here. Um, I got a 6XL and I have their leggings in a 6XL and they are too tight. Um, which is confusing because this is at least one size too big. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going to do like a... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I haven't bought enough pieces from Girlfriend in order to do like a full review, but also um, they're expensive and they don't ship to Canada right now and I'd have to wait because I can't get the other pieces from them. So I don't know. I don't know if I should do a review or not. Um, essentially they come in like up to a 6XL which should fit like a 4X, um, and I wear a 5X on top, so in theory this should be tight, but it's not, and I could definitely get a 5XL, but the bottoms, where I definitely wear the larger size, are too tight, so I'm just so confused, I'm so confused. Um, anyway, I picked these up from um, consign your curves in Guelph. They're pretty much the only place in Canada where you can purchase, um, Girlfriend Collective. Uh, if you are looking to get them in Canada, that's where you buy them from because they have their sports bras and leggings, um, in store. And so you can order them online. I'll link them in, uh, the description box and I will link Girlfriend Collective for everybody else. <laughs> Okay, so next up is a pair of um, just basic black leggings, like, I guess they are technically workout leggings, but I'm not going to work out in them, so it feels weird calling them that. Um, but these are from Pennington's, and so they're just like basic black leggings. They have like a little like insert stitchy bit here um, that I thought was maybe a pocket, it wasn't. They were like $16 in the sale. Um, I also picked up a pair two pairs of underwear um they're like seamless ones I can't decide if I love them or hate them it feels like you're not wearing any underwear at all but then if you wear them for more than eight hours they just slide right off and they're so confusing so um not sure about those uh, I haven't tried the other pair of underwear on they're similar um just a little bit different cut and I picked up some slippers and an 11 wide. They're like a Skechers memory foam slippers. And turns out they're too small. I could have, I needed a 12. And I don't think they came in a 12. So anyway, um, that's what I purchased from Pennington's. So everything else from here on out is from Universal Standard. Um, most of it I bought with my own money. Some of it I bought with a gift card that I got for Christmas from my family because I specifically requested a Universal Standard gift card. Um, if you can hear that noise, it's my dog smacking her tail on the chair. Um, so I picked up a winter coat. I'm going to pop a picture of it on the screen um, because I'm not going upstairs to get it. And if I take it upstairs, I won't remember. It's If I take it down here, I won't remember it needs to go back up and then I will be without a coat the next time I need to leave the house. So I'm just going to leave it up there. It's um, safer that way. Um, I love this coat. It is puffy and just I feel like the Michelin man in it and I feel so chic. There's no um, nothing that gets caught on my steering wheel when I get in and out of my car which was the problem with my other coat which was a long down like packable coat. Um, that I purchased from Pennington's, but the pockets zip closed on that one, and it was ripping up my steering wheel every time I got in and out, in and out, the zippers would get caught. Very annoying, and I have so many scratches from like two years of wearing that coat in my car and getting in and out. It's destroyed the steering wheel. Um, so I love the coat. It's so warm. I got a 40, I think I got a 40, yeah, um, or like the biggest size, and I could fit both of our small dogs inside my coat with me. Zipped up fully. There's no hood. The pockets are fleece lined and it has like elasticated like knit cuffs that come down to my wrist and it means that when I drive or when I like wear the coat the sleeves are long enough and that's never the case. Um, my other coat the sleeve like stopped here like even this you can see like 
the sleeves are too short, right? But like my coat would stop here. So um, it was too short. Um, this, I have so much room in it and it's so comfy and so cozy. Um, yeah, I just love it. And I love like the quilting on it and everything. Um, I'll also post a picture on here of me wearing it because I have taken photos for Instagram in it. Um, honestly, I got a really good deal. I think, I think I got it for like half off originally because they were doing some sort of clearance sale. Um, and honestly, I can't afford to buy Universal Standard at this point at full price um, unless somebody else is paying for it. So um, I s get on their mailing list and I watch for sales and things like that um, because then I can score deals when I can afford it and um, sometimes that's just what you have to do to have nice clothes and clothes that fit. So anyways. Okay, so this I still have the tag on, um, not because I'm sending it back or anything like that. Uh, it's just that I haven't had a chance to wear it, and I've been trying to keep it in, like, new condition for this video. So, you know, I wore it once for, like, half a day with the tag still on, which I never do. It just feels like this sweater is very special. Um, anyway, it has sort of, like, a higher neck. It comes, like, right up to here on me, and a lot of my stuff doesn't do that. Um, so it feels very nice. It has, like, a boxier cut to it. If you can see, like, it has a drop shoulder, and then, um, these, like, cuffed sleeves, and then it, the front and back are um like the front is shorter than the back if you can see that there with my hand i know it's hard to see with black um and you'll see it in the cutaways anyway it's very boxy i got a ooh, i got a 3xl according to this um normally i would get a 2xl in their sizing um when it's like this stuff um but i wanted it extra baggy which isn't that nice not being the largest size in the store so you can in fact size up if you want for a different fit it's such a novelty to be able to do that anyway very excited with this cannot wait to take the tag off now and wear it um this is like the ultimate french tuck sweater because just like it right where it ends is kind of where you would tuck it in it's so perfect. And last but not least is these pair of jeans. So these were kind of a fail for me. Um, a little bit on the, their part and my part. Um, they were doing a denim event where um, all of their denim was $25. Um, which in the end, I, I mean $25 US by the time the exchange and shipping and everything. Um, it worked out to be a bit more but it was a significant discount on what I would have paid. And I thought I was getting 30 inch, inch inseam uh, jeans. Um, but instead what I got was, what did it say? I think they're like 26 inch inseam. Um, yeah, so they're quite cropped. And somewhere in the pockets in here, it's a 27, yeah. Okay, so these are the cropped boyfriend jeans bay uh 27 inch dark indigo so that's fine um they fit okay um but i need them to be longer i like 30 inches would have been like the perfect cropped length so like i i need that extra three inches that i'm missing of jean um but when i talk to them they're like no no because i thought on the like it said like 30 inches like on the page and so I thought like these were the 30 inch ones but it turns out when you click it it goes to a 30 inch length and they didn't have any so I'm a little sad about that but I'm gonna fix it so I have a plan um essentially what I'm gonna do is mark out where my knee is in these I like how they fit and so I'm gonna mark where my knee is cut across and insert a panel of different colored denim um, maybe black, maybe not because that's a de black denim is a little thick, but maybe like a lighter color. Um, I'm just going to insert it so it looks like an inserted um, like knee patch, but like it'll be the whole leg. And so I'll just add like 
maybe six inches in so that they're longer and I can like roll them up if I want to. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert like a knee patch, essentially, um, so they're longer. I don't know what I got on these. I've worn them a couple times and I have to say I definitely need them to be longer because they sit at just a point where they pull my pants down um, while I'm walking because they're trying to slide lower on my legs. So that's not a good look, but that's what I'm going to do to fix them. Um, I'm not afraid to like just cut into them. They weren't so expensive that I will be upset that I can't wear them um, if they get ruined. So, All right, everybody. So that is my haul from the last couple of months. Um, I purchased denim specifically because I have two pairs of jeans that are on their way out. The thighs are really thinning and I'm a little concerned that I will be without a good pair of blue jeans um, when they finally wear through. And I would like to get these ones broken in and wearable um, before that happens. Have you ever felt like that where you're really scared that your favorite clothing item will wear through before you find another favorite clothing item to replace it? Yeah, I, I, I'm aware I sound... Um nuts but it's fine it's fine I'll take it um anyway uh, everything is linked in the description uh if it's still available I've linked it and um, remember to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you guys soon bye